Welcome class. This lecture will help you understand how to do the midterm, which is due October 27th and worth 20% of your grade. First of all, I should tell you that everything you're going to see in this, in this uh, video is actually available on the course site. To access all the materials, the study guide and the essay question, you simply click on course material as you normally do. And then you'll be taken to the course material page. Click on the assignments folder, not the course modules folder, but the assignments folder next. Once you're inside the assignments folder, you'll see a list of the assignments for the course. Click on the midterm folder. In the midterm folder, you'll see everything you need to prepare for and take the midterm. The study guide is there, the link so that you can take part one, the online test, as well as part two, the essay question. So let's go through the study guide because it does help you to know what's in there to prepare. As I said, it's worth 20% of your grade. The midterm covers chapters one to six in your textbook, as well as all materials on the course site to date. The midterm will become available on the course shell on Wednesday, October 21st, first thing a minute after midnight in the morning, and it's due by midnight on the following Tuesday, October 27th. It may not be accepted late. There are two top parts to the test. The first is an online test. Part one is an online test consisting of 37 multiple choice, true, false, matching, and ordering items. You have two hours to take this part and it must be taken in one session. So make sure that you've uh, done everything you needed to do and you're ready to sit down and devote one session to it. The second part is a separate essay that you uh, can prepare for all throughout the week. Uh, it is also due October 27th. In this essay, you'll be asked to read a case study of a crime in which mistakes were made securing and processing the crime scene. You're going to analyze and suggest corrections for those mistakes. The essay will be turned in as a separate file to a separate link that's also in the midterm folder. Both parts are open book, open notes, so you can use any materials you want, but you may not work with another person. An important thing to understand is you must apply knowledge, not just memorize it. So this is not going to be just about looking up definitions of vocabulary words. You have to know about them. The study guide and the submission link are all in the midterm folder. So how do you go about preparing for the exam? Well, the best way is to use the study guide to prepare for part one. Read the specific information in the study guide and then there's a nice summary at the end of each chapter. I would look over the vocabulary words, make sure that you know what they are, and go back to the bullets to see how many you can do, the bullets that are in the study guide. It's important again to note that the questions will mostly ask you to apply knowledge, so don't concentrate on memorizing information. Try to understand the information. So for example, instead of just asking, um, you know, a question about a vocabulary word, you might be asked, a forensic anthropologist knows the victim's skull is large and has a low forehead. What can the investigator conclude about the gender of the individual? Um, do not make the mistake of thinking that because the exam is open book, you will not need to prepare. You need an understanding of specific content in order to finish the exam on time and do well. So there are two parts, as I said, to the exam. The first part, the multiple choice, true, false, matching, and ordering questions are worth 75% of your score. And the essay is worth 25% of your score. Each of the six chapters is covered in the study guide, the vocabulary you're expected to be familiar with, as well as some guiding questions. Students have been successful in the past by simply using this 
and making notes on the study guide. So what is forensic science? You could look that up in your textbook and type an answer. What are the 11 sections of the American Academy of Forensic Science and what does each do? So you could look all of this up and prepare notes. Again, there's one for each of the six chapters. In addition to part one, there's part two. There's a midterm essay question. And in the directions for this are also in the midterm folder. It is also due October 27th and is worth 25% of your scores. You're going to, number one, read the details of a crime scene. This, this crime scene is the O.J. Simpson case that was made famous a number of years ago, particularly for the mistakes that were made in the processing of the crime scene. After you read about it, you're going to write a one to two page double spaced essay that um, answers the following questions. You want to describe in detail three mistakes that were made in collecting the evidence and are processing the crime scene. Why were they mistakes? And what were the consequences of these mistakes at the trial? Don't just say anything like OJ was not convicted. State specifically how the mistake weaken the case against him. So if there were mishandling, for example, of fingerprints, what was the direct uh, problem with that at the trial? And then you're going to describe in detail how the mistakes could have been avoided. What were the appropriate procedures? Cite at least once for your textbook as you describe each procedure, so you should have at least three citations. After you proof your paper and view the rubric that I'm going to show you in a minute to make sure you've done a good job, you're going to submit it to the link in the midterm folder. This is not timed, but it is due October 27th. So the rubric for how this will be graded is given to you. So you can actually take this rubric and score your own response to see if you have hit all the exemplary columns. Um, so I'll, I'll let you take a look at that. Again, this is in the midterm study guide. That's it. If there are any questions, please contact me at nhalbrenner at mercy.edu or through the course message system. If you prepare for this, you should have no trouble doing well on it. Thank you.